Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we are looking into Scorpio's general guidance message for the upcoming week. Now, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. So let's dive in. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? What do they need to see for this upcoming week? Please and thank you. So the energy surrounding you, Scorpio, the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Page of Wands. Something's at a pause. Something's at a standstill. Whether this is business work, could be a relationship for some of you. Some of you, I feel like something's, there's a pause. The challenge here, Scorpio, is something is about to be revealed to help clear the confusion. This is going to change your perspective on your approach. Now, if this is having to do with business, this may be a situation in which you find out that you have to make some adjustments, some arrangements, and that may include taking a step away from certain business ventures, focusing your time, attention, and energy in other directions. But I definitely feel here, Scorpio, there's something that's about to come out. It's going to help you to understand what your next move needs to be. So let's start here with the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Page of Wands. And the reason why I feel like this is having to do with business is because the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. Please clarify for Scorpio's energy. Something here that you're like proceeding with caution. You're taking your time and making this decision when it comes to this person. There's a reason why you're feeling that way. Okay. Spirit is trying to warn you. So you're being called to pay attention right now, Scorpio. Um, pay attention to everything, including the things that aren't being said. Now, I definitely feel here, Scorpio, maybe the reason why you're not saying no exactly is because you know what the outcome will be. You know that this is going to rub this person wrong. You have to do what's best for you, what's best for your business, what's best for protecting your energy. And if something isn't in alignment with what you want for your future, then by all means, it's important for you to say no. Not only is it standing your ground in a boundary that you've set, it's also a way that you boost your confidence. Okay, instead of having patience with the process and trying to make this work, there's a reason why you're proceeding with caution. So spirit is guiding for you to pay attention. And if that means run away, Knight of Swords energy, by all means do so. Please clarify the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Moon in the Reverse. It's almost like this person may try to throw you under the bus at some point. It's like maybe they're going to sacrifice. I don't know why I heard sacrifice. They're going to try and sacrifice the connection or sacrifice the business or compromise the business in some, some manner. There's a reason, Scorpio, why you need to trust that intuitive gut feeling. Let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice. Moving forward, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Advice 
for Scorpio spirit. My Scorpion friends need to see. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it's not the time, not right now, not today, not in alignment, three of wands energy, then you need to stand your ground in that. Okay, trust that you know what you is best for you, that you know what you need intuitively. Don't be afraid to have people fall away because that person wasn't meant to be on your path in the first place. And the sooner they leave, the better. Also, guys, part of the reason why you felt stuck is because you've been holding yourself back from making this decision when you knew all along what needed to take place. So trusting that intuitive sense is going to be the most important message to take from this reading because it builds that trust within ourself. It builds that confidence within ourself. When we trust our intuition and we find that it's right, the more we trust that, the more that it's right, the stronger it gets, the more confidence we get around trusting it, and the easier it comes to make these decisions. So trust the process here, Scorpio. Look at the situation very clearly for what it is. Is this in alignment with what I want for my future? And if it's not, then only you can change it. Your soul truth message, Scorpio, what can I burn? Burn it. Burn it all, the ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You're like the phoenix rising from the ashes. No longer attached to the past, you are free. Your, ring, your wings are ready. Use them. Today's soul action, make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Scorpio. Pull out the pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on the rituals that we do here on the channel every full moon and every new moon. For ritual kits for personal readings and the monthly drawing that we can, that we do, the drawing that we'll do at 20,000 subscribers. All the information that you need to know is below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for your situation, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful. You never know how your story could help another person. So Scorpio, Yes or no question. Hold that question in your mind. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? That's a yes. That is a yes. Scorpio feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.